A few things on the laps. We're often asked what the correct bolt pattern is, how many bolts to put in to each groove or purlin. As a rule, uh, there's no difference between the girts and the purlins. For sure, refer to your building drawings. If there's anything real special about your building, heavy loads, uh, an unusual size, something that's, that's really big, you know, 80 foot, 100 foot wide. Uh, it, this might not be the case, but on our typical building, 30 by 40, 40 by 60, 50 by 100, even 60 and uh, 60 foot wide buildings, this is going to be your correct pattern. Now the clip that's put onto the end of the columns has four holes in it, and there is four holes punched into each purlin or girt. We only call out two bolts and they're supposed to be in a diagonal fashion. It doesn't mean, it doesn't matter which way. Uh, the reason why this is done is just the way that these are fabricated. Uh, sometimes they'll twist under heat during the welding process and in the fitting shop. They're not always perfect. Uh, so four holes are put on and it makes it pretty easy to line up two holes. On uh, this case, you know, we could easily put four, uh, four bolts in, uh, but it's not necessary. We don't want to run out of bolts. So diagonal. We leave these loose until the building is uh, completely plumb. And then at the end of the laps, uh, two bolts at each lap, and uh, it should be pretty obvious which holes to put them in. On laps, if you look at your roof drawing or your sidewall drawing, the framing drawing, there will be a measurement that tells you from the center line of the column to the edge of each girder or purlin. You want to make sure that you're holding that. So if there's any question on, well, does it, should I push it over and put it here? Should I push it over right here? Uh, it's easy. Just measure from the end of the girt to the center of the column. And that should take care of it for you. We do uh, one foot, two foot, three foot. And sometimes I've seen up to four foot laps, depending on the strength required for the building. Same thing on the purlins. We obviously don't have lap bolts in yet. When we're talking about how many bolts to put in, it's important to note that on the end walls, you want to put all four, all four bolts in if you can. I think our plans show two, but we do provide enough for four. The engineers really like it when you have four bolts out here, but it is not necessary.